This is the fighting game. Major. This is where you want to be if you want to see high level play no matter what. And up next, we're going to have GC Yoshi once again versus, versus Bub Bubsy. And I keep forgetting what Bubsy's trick is. Uh, it's, it's Viper, Viper Morgan, Morgan, Strider. What we've seen so far was a bit different than what he expected. Yeah, yeah. Busby. Busby. He tried to use Vi Viper to get in, but if it fails, he relies on Morgan and Strider to clean up. Yes. So he tried to use... Excuse me. Anyways, back to the match. For the most part, Viper ground, uh, dominates the ground. But, but that doesn't matter because doesn't matter, she got, got clipped. Yeah, she got clipped in the legs. Chris is continuing to shoot her, punch her, and cut her. Chris is a high damage character and Viper with low health. Piece of uh, easy meat for Chris. Oh, good adjustment. Oh, wow, wow, almost dropped smart. it. That was very, very smart. But now he's setting her on fire, shooting her, setting her fire again, and cutting her. Now, he has to be... Going straight see. to Spencer. Going to the grapple cobble. It's let's, guaranteed damage. Let's see if he keeps Spencer in against uh, Strider. Because I know, no, personally... No, he's, going, he's going for safety. Yeah. I know personally, Chris versus Strider, as long as you have one grenade out, you're safe. Yes, that's what he's doing. What, like, watch. He's slowly moving in. He's throwing grenades and shooting him. Oh, very, very sneaky, sneaky Yoshi. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't know, when you throw out the grenades, you can shoot them to activate him early. You don't necessarily, yeah, you don't necessarily have to wait for it. Not only that, is uh, mainly to provide protection against oh, uh, the Vajra. Yes. So he's sending a minefield of fire just to protect his uh, approach to Strider. Plus he got cross guard by that. Oh. Plus he's being a little bit more careful. A little bit more careful. Yeah, he has to watch out for the Strider assist. You know, he's just trying to play a bit of a... Oh, oh. wow, just again. And GC Yoshi feeds off of landmine trades. Yes. Because what happens if you trade with him, you will die. The trick is Chris has a lot of health because a lot of it is based on baiting them once they hit you. Yes. The landmines are built in a way where you're supposed to intentionally get hit. Oh, that's oh a little bit out of range. Maybe a normal sized up. character would have worked. I'd work on getting Chris in. Oh, but he got hit by Strider Assist. Oh. He wasn't expecting it. No, he's getting chipped out soon. Yeah. Oh, very smart. He decided to burn a meter just for... Yep, there <laughs> it is! He going prone! Warren can't do anything until she changes the trajectory. Yes. Chris is one of the few characters that can that can fight Morgan. Probably top three in the game. And you have a lowly man such as Chris. Yes. Uh, if you remember back then, I think at NCR, Senior Taxi was able to use a similar tactic with Chris and Dante. <laughs> so far though, I think what GC Yoshi is banking on, he's definitely banking on building meter for Spencer Sentinel. I mean, getting getting hit with Chris is very nice, but all he wants to do is just use him as a meat shield and build meter. Oh, oh. never mind. Just said that meter got stolen, but he does have he's, enough he's meter too, so he can do that TAC super. Yes. Or team super. He's just waiting for Strider to come in, right? And I'm not. I'm wondering if more if Busby is aware of that. Uh, yeah, he's got to be aware. He's got to be aware. Oh. oh no 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 no. X. Oh wow, that's X Factor. Yeah, I'll take that trade. Uh -oh. oh, he's going for the raw S. He's going for the ha Hail Mary. No, 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 he's going to be pinballed though. That's it. Oh, wow, he really wants to save Sentinel. No, he needs Sentinel. He needs Sentinel to deal with Strider. However, uh, we don't know if this is going to pay off. This is not going to pay off because Morgan is just draining that X Factor time. Wow. Yeah. GC Yoshi has severe disadvantage, so he needs to be very careful. However, he's looking pretty good. This looks like it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Yep. Yep, 1-1. One, one. Let's see, now on the board, both players now can afford two matches before getting knocked out. There are two matches closer to deciding the fate of these two. Fate of these two. Oh, oh very good. Chris got first hit. Now, got it again with some magnums. Now the, the, the matchup with uh, Chris versus Viper. Oh, like that. I said Happy that. Birthday. OTG with the... One. Oh, that 
Nice. Bionic arm. Yes. He could have gone into uh, the grenade super to pop him up uh, to OTG. Nice, uh, just to get out. He's gonna grab. Yeah. Oh, very, very smart in GC Yoshi. Very smart. To block. He needs to get Chris to go back in the prone position again. Nah, he just needs a block. He just needs to get out of the way. That's a lot of chip damage to work with. Yeah, but Spencer has a lot of health. Chris and Spencer have like pretty high health for most yes. of them, considering the cast. So they can afford to take one or two hits. Or four. Or seven. There it is. Right there. Only six hits though, so that's very good. Not bad. She ran out of X-Factor. So you have meter. three bars to work with. And he's about to shotgun her if she has a chance. What Chris needs to do is he needs to find a way to get under Morrigan as she's super jumping. That way you put her in a mix-up situation with the incendiary mines. Or you but can just wow. walk up and grab. Or you can just <laughs> walk up, literally walk up and grab Morrigan by her head. And the reason Chris is able to move that fast is because GC Yoshi is using a clinking technique to close yes. in. You can't normally use that or move that fast with Chris. No. So you need to use clink, uh, clink tricks to do it. And wow. Very smart. GC Very Yoshi one match closer to closing this out. Closing this out. One more match to move on and losers. Bubsy has two more to fight his way out from this one. Now. He's reset, or he's going back to Care Select to just get some time to reset his thoughts. How the matchup is supposed to work with Chris versus um, Viper is that you need to use max distance Seismo mixed in with uh, Eye Laser. However, Busby wants to really, you know, kind of go in and bully him. And during those gaps in between, like, the Seismo's, like, you know, tri jumps, uh, GC Yoshi is going in, he's dashing in, going in with a crouching medium. Or getting happy birthday. Or getting happy birthday. Oh, wow, he really wants him dead. Yeah, Bubsy's just grabbing momentum right now. He's just saying, I'm not having any of this. This could potentially come back to haunt him, though. Not anymore. Because he has no X Factor against Spencer. Spencer is notorious for making comebacks. Like against, but remember, he's dealing with zoning. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. My leg arm does turn off about mid screen. X. That's fine. Oh, no X. You should be careful. Oh! Wow. My goodness. Overhead. Bubsy did not expect that. Caught him frozen. He yeah, he, has he needs to be careful, though. See? Like that. Just because of the EX Seismo. He was trying to go for overhead. He was trying to go I for overhead. That. But Busby had no He had no reason. He had no reason no, not to try No it. reason not to try it. He had three bars with Viper. If you didn't know, EX Seismo and EX Thunder Knuckle have uh, a few frames of invincibility. So no matter what you try, you can get hit from it. Yes. It's best not to have any normal. Oh, oh wow, does he have these? Does he have these? No, he doesn't. He tried to attempt go over the TAC infinite? No, he tried to like hit um, Strider. Yes. Good. Oh, oh. no. What's he going to do? Combo. And a fireball to make sure Strider's uh, covered. He needs to be careful. Spencer, I think, is a... A huge part of his team right now. He's find a way to get Chris in. Oh, no, no, no. He just wants to cross her up. Oh my goodness! That was, that was the sickest confirmed. But he needs to make sure she's dead. All right, she's dead. He crossed them up with the the second grenade, second homing grenade, and Busby didn't expect it. And that was the problem. Oh, oh. no. Needs to be careful. Yep. Oh. oh. I think he tried to push block. Yeah, he tried to, he did definitely tried to push block right there. That's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough right now. That's right. She's gonna do the, the block ball. Oh, oh, did he oh. get her? Oh. Oh, it's just gonna escape. Very good. He confirm. Nice. Oh, oh no. Oh, and it's all, all up Sentinel. to Sentinel. I don't think he wants any Sentinel shenanigans right now. Oh, oh that execution error. And she gets punched. He okay, needs to be careful. It's up, it's up. He needs to be careful. He oh tried it. He no. Tried it. He tried. He tried. And just like that. 
Busby moves on. Busby moves on. All right, we apologize if he got cut off, but as you saw, GC Yoshi was knocked out and Busby moves on. For, fortunately, we're gonna have any some slight technical difficulties while we work that out. However, that last that last match, we, 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 he was going for launch. No, he went. He did crouch B. Oh, he did crouching B. The problem that the reason why it failed is because um, I forgot what move it is. I think it's called Excalibur. Yeah, the, it's the called one um, does, the one yeah, where Excalibur. He, like, charges through you and yes. it also does multiple hits. Yes, Excalibur. So it did enough hits to break through the.